Welcome to Rock This Town. I'm John, and we are here with one of the funniest men I've ever met. Ladies and gentlemen, Keith Ruff. Oh, me. Keithy, how was, are you, bro? I was looking for somebody else. How you been? I'm good, John. It's great to be here. It's great to be here, thanks too. For, right? Thanks for the intro. Man. How is the uh, career going? Uh, it's it's gone, man. It's, it's not gone. I just saw you at a corporate gig downtown. You're doing a lot of the corporate stuff. It's, it, it's comedy. You know, you, you you work the road all these years. Yep. <clears throat> Excuse me. You work the road. Yep. You work from town to town, state to state. Yep. You get a couple weeks off. Yep. And then you go back on the road. So what did you do before the comedy? What got you into comedy? What made you say, I'm going to stand up in front of people, tell jokes, be very funny? Uh, you know, I always had humorous in me. Yeah. Hey. Uh, I guess my years at Highland Appliance, you know, I was a salesman. At Highland Appliance? Highland Appliance. I bet you and, sold a uh, lot of washers. Sold a lot of washers <laughs> with a lot of jokes and stuff. Did uh, they have microwaves back then? Yeah, they had microwaves. They had okay. the big ones, you know. Yeah, the but it took two people to shut the door, you know. <laughs> Let me carry it out to the car and get a couple guys. Well, everything was big back then. Yeah, Council yeah. TVs, they were made out of trees. <laughs> That's great. With a screen in the middle of them. Nice, very nice. I worked nice. there 10 years, man, Highland Appliance. Okay. Yeah, I had a good time, man. I was a salesman, uh -huh. a Highland super salesman. And not just doing the I love them when people used to come in Highland. Uh, welcome to Highland. Can I help you? Yeah, that RCA Victor 20 inch you got on sale for nine ninety nine. Yeah, who's it made by? <laughs> I'm not sure. Those people are the best. Yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, they're customers. Yeah. Customers are real. Yeah. There's no rewind. Yeah. There's nothing fake about. Customers. What's the on button do? <laughs> What's on? <laughs> right. What does this do? The next section, guy. What's no me? It'll kill you if you press it too hard. <laughs> My parents are always scared to touch the buttons. They buy it, it's plugged in, but they won't touch it. And it's like, what are you looking at? Right. Like just a gray screen. Right. Remember it's the like, VCRs when you yeah. needed another guy on the, on the other end to help you shove the VHS in there? Yeah. It was like a big piece of Texas toast. Now everything is like this. I know. You know. It's so. amazing. But no, know. comedy. I, I got started by uh, everyday life, man. Just talking to people uh, through my day jobs yeah. years back uh, at parties uh, and always had a knack for it, always loved the stand-up artists yep. from the 70s. I thought they were brilliant. You know, your, your George Carlin's, yep. your David Brenner's, yep. your Richard Pryor's. Those guys had like tons of material, great personality. They were funny, funny See, comics. the thing with you though was, is every time I walked into a club, you'd be emceeing and somebody like that would be on stage. You always opened up for somebody like huge. Yeah, like, always I mean, did. It did it, it's just amazing. Like, name a couple names. Like, I'd walk in, and then you'd be headlining one show, and then you'd go to another club, and you'd be opening yeah, up run down George street, Carlin or something. George Carlin, as far as comedians, you know, uh, George Carlin, yeah. uh, Tim Allen, yeah. uh, your groups, uh, you know, America, Chicago, The Temptations. I didn't care. I just wanted to be on stage, John, really. I, I did just you like the to, musicians opening for those I, I love music. Oh, man. It's, it not, it's nothing. You know, I'll tell you, my first gig was Barry uh -huh. White. True story. I yep. get a call. Barry Would you like White? to open up for Barry White? The Barry White? Did he call up? Did he go, hey, 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 uh, funny, brother. <laughs> right on, right on. <laughs> so, I've been a fan of Barry White for years. You know, Barry wears the uh, sequin pajamas. Right? On stage? Or yeah. Because I don't know. On I stage. Did, no. I was going to, I was worrying about how you got the gig. Yeah, on, on stage. <laughs> okay. So, I'm, I'm thinking, uh, wow, you know, I, I got to, I got to do something, man. So, I went out and bought a red sequence, nice. double-breasted. Very nice. I kid you not. I'm not going to let Barry show me up. I'm I a won't. comic. I want to look nice, right? So <laughs> I can let Barry show I, It's Barry White. He's going to show you up. It's Barry White, right? So I go out there. I got this really nice red outfit on. I do like 30 <laughs> minutes. They love me. They're clapping. Barry comes out with pajamas on. Pajamas. Sweet. Sequence pajamas, you know, with the, the band leader stick, you know. And I'm like, <laughs> I got to get me a stick next time. That's Tell my jokes for the stick. <laughs> Did you hear the one? <laughs> People don't know this, but Keith was actually the original um, Godfather. Uh, Scorsese and Coppola actually wanted him as the original Godfather. What happened? I'm going to make him an offer you can't refuse. I never wanted you to get in the comedy business, Johnny. No, the Godfather. <laughs> I love that impersonation. I think I'm the only black guy that does. Don Vito Corleone. Oh, great. You're black? I didn't know that. Que je dis, paisano, cavi. I thought you were Italian, so I figured it was easy for you. No, I'm you. Greek that stood out in the sun too <laughs> damn long. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, I've never seen you bomb. You could be the only person I've never seen bomb before. Well, that comes from being a salesman. 
I don't I, I don't know what it is. And my I, first audience me, was that lot. family from East Detroit that came in and wanted to buy that RCA Victor that was made by Zenith. I, I tell you, man, I'm serious. A lot of people don't believe this. After 10 years in retail, mm -hmm. I don't fear an audience. Because retail is tougher, isn't it? It's much tougher. Seriously. If you well, you're asking for money. You're asking for money. That's How true. much would you like to put down today? You know, That's a good point. So it's much tougher. So you got to add comedy into retails. By the time I hit the stage in this industry, I was ready. And you know why? Because there's still comics, you know, comedy clubs. But there's no more Highland appliance. So that just goes to show you it is tough. It is tough. <laughs> it's a tough gig, man. So I did the comedy club. Yep. You know, I did the one-nighters. Yep. I did the big venues, Carnival Cruise Line. That was a lot of fun. So it's um, late in the morning. <clears throat> People are watching this show. They're watching this and they're going, I want to get into comedy. Give them some advice. I mean, you've worked with you worked all the clubs. Don't. you worked with all the... <laughs> No, give him some advice. Seriously, what don't, do you do? No, I mean, that's it. There's don't, a guy out there, and he's working for Highland Apply. It. Don't listen to John. <laughs> he's Greek. He's not right. Okay. Come on, seriously. What would you? Come on, seriously. Seriously. Um, How would they get into it? What would they do? You know, you're sitting on the couch. Well, they, right they now, will start saying, the way my you. My job and I... isn't exciting, so I want to drive for five hours with a cold to tell jokes in Peoria. You know? <laughs> Go ahead. They would start exactly the way you and I did mm -hmm. 25 years ago. You would do open mic nights. You would come up with a five-minute five minute bit on your dog, your in-laws. Two to three minutes it would be stolen two to three from minutes. another comic from another city. We, we, that way they can't track it. Lift it, borrow it. We don't borrow, steal it. We don't steal it. We don't steal it. We don't steal, we don't steal. That's so. something musicians do. <laughs> Comedians don't do that. We don't do that. We don't. Never. Ever. And what else? No. And, and um, <clears throat> eat right. Plenty of sleep. Watch comics, but don't mimic them. You know, the yeah. old comics. Watch sure. them. Watch how they handle hecklers. Watch how they, they pivot on stage, you know, watch how they ad lib, watch how their face change, you know, and, uh, and remember this and take it on stage, but be you, don't be them, be you, yep. you know, and, um, you know, and, and do it every night. Where you know? do people see some of your stuff? You can see it, um, I do a lot of stuff in my basement, it's a two drink minimum. <laughs> Come on in. Move the rakes. And if you don't like the comedy portion, I have a pole in the center. That's nice. Um, <laughs> da, 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 da. That's great. I am not coming over. No, I'm you, you can see now. me locally at, at any comedy club. <laughs> <laughs> locally, you can see me at any of the comedy clubs, sure. uh, you know, in the, in, in, the, uh, in the Detroit metro yep. area. Yep. Uh, you can go to YouTube and see some stuff. Um, you know. Just you got to see him. If you ever get a chance, Keith Ruff, you got to find him. Find him on the internet. Find him at the laundromat. Wherever you want, you got to find, find him. Just, just find he's got to be found. He's I get he's lost so funny. Lot. I'm telling you, 20 years ago, funniest guy around, and he just got funnier. And and I, it's great. I love having you. Thanks, Shane. Sure. Let, let me see if I got some money. You don't have to get any money. Was, no, that was <laughs> nice. That was what? And, and, and you know something, John? I mean this from the heart. <clears throat> yeah. We've been trying to put this together, but you know, I've been sick. I still love doing this because yep. I'm an entertainer and, yeah. and this is my audience, you know. Yeah. This, this, this little you're, box right here for the camera, yeah, the back of it is going to open up to like millions of poems. People are going to see me as far as wine yeah. you know. Yeah, maybe up to Flint. East Detroit, Flint. <sighs> yes. I'm telling you, man. So listen, thanks. It's Rock This Town. This is Keith Ruff. Comedy is rough. rough. Thanks.